She's on Kitty, the catnip outlaw here. And today we have a tabletop first thoughts review of the Blackout Defense Quantum Mark II. This is the first um, AR-15 that I bought brand new factory built. Usually I'll build my own lowers and then get a upper and put it on there. Um, so I did pay for this with my own money. These will run roughly between 18 and 2100, depending on some, um, how you have it set up. When I first saw the firearm, um, and my FFL commented also, just you know, how beautiful of a gun it is. You, you can't appreciate its beauty until you actually see it and put it in your hands. This is a, you know, in gun terms, is a piece of art. It is really pretty, it's nice, and um, I think it's gonna function just as well when I get it to the range this weekend. Some of the things I like about this is, out of the gate, you really don't have to change anything unless you have some big personal preferences. Um, this is 13.9 inches. It's a 416R stainless barrel. It's 13.9 inches with a pinned and welded dead air compressor on there so it can accept a suppressor, uh, which is a smart thing um, for something that's going to be pinned and welded so you don't lose that option. Things that it comes with that you don't have to change. It comes with a Fab Five defense stock and a sheet weld so you don't necessarily have to change out a cheap stock that's on a lot of ARs, even expensive ones. Um, ambidextrous charging handle, CMMG. They're going to be manufacturing their own charging handle, but um, yeah, CMMG makes a, a solid charging handle, so you don't need to change that out. You know, most guns are going to come with a mil spec. Magpul MOE plus grip. I like the plus grips. That's what I put on um, all my lowers, so I don't have to switch that. The bolt catch release is um, your standard mill spec, but it has a nice feel to it. It doesn't have that cheap feel that you get in a lot of parts kits. Um, and also, um, it seems very smooth function-wise. Then you're also going to have an Ambi Fire Select. Again, something else that you're not going to have to add to your firearm. And again, very smooth functioning. It's got some nice texture on it. So, you know, definitely a nice little upgrade. Um, mag release, it's got a nice neural texture. Again, very smooth. Usually I switch those out to a, an Odenworks extended mag release, but um, I like the feel of this one, so I'm not gonna do that. It comes with the Blackout Defense um, Zero drop-in trigger, so you don't have to switch out your trigger. It's one of the best triggers on the market. And since they put it in, it's going to come with anti-walk pins. Again, something else that you don't have to upgrade on your own. And uh, you know, the only thing I can see someone possibly upgrading is if they like an extended mag release, and a bolt catch release. I really am not into that. Um, for the lower receiver, they have these linear compression pads that they put in there also, so it, there's no wobble. You know, you, you, it is a very tight fit. Um, they have a, a little slot that they have um, on the receiver that it just slides in. It just takes up any play. Um, I bet there probably isn't where the this billet lower receiver probably match up really well, but. Um, it'd be interesting if those can be used in other lower receivers. Um, you know, a lot of people have wedges they use, or a couple of lowers have that screw that you can tighten. Um, I usually don't like that screw because uh, you got to kind of play with it to get it where you want. You don't want it too tight. But, uh, you know, that's another well thought out thing. Everything about this is pretty well thought out. And another thing is this hand guard. They deburr, they hand deburr any rough edges. And 
This is just very smooth. It doesn't bite your hand when you run. And you can grip it tight, and you're not going to get that bite that you can get from a lot of other rails. Um, you know, this, everything about it seems well thought out because you don't have to throw any upgrades if you, you know, like, unless you're very fussy with certain stocks and such, or, um, you know, but there's really nothing on this that I, I would change. Uh, now I get to decide what I want for an optic. Um, you know, that's gonna, that's always another personal choice for people. Um, I think I might switch over the um, Vortex UH1 onto this, uh, as long as it doesn't seem too bulky. Is this being, it has a, it's a nice light AR-15. Um, so I don't know if I want to go with that or something a little smaller to keep it um, light and compact. So very eager to get this out to the range. Um, I think Blackout Defense is making some great products. So definitely take a look at them. You know, this is, you know, this is a thing of beauty. It's a piece of art. You know, it's one of the nicer AR-15s that I've touched. And also, it doesn't have a um, forward assist, which gives it a, you know, more of that sleek look. It's a very pretty look. And uh, we're going to, I think, enjoy this rifle and bring some of my extended thoughts after I get it to the range this weekend. Um, another thing, I did upgrade to an MP3 trigger. I have the regular black nitride and a couple other lowers, and I wanted to see the how the MP3 compares. They say it's a roughly a 15 to 20 percent increase in performance, and um, you know it does have a great feel to it, dry firing it, and. Short reset. I love that reset. Just, you know, just pitches are so crisp. It's like no slot, no grit. Just it's like breaking through a very fine piece of glass. So, two gun kitty signing off.